Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April 6th. I can't believe yesterday I, I said it was August. Um, you know, a brain is a terrible thing to use. <laughs> it's like, give me a break. It's April. I don't want to rush this year along any more than I, than I already am. I'd be really screwed otherwise because I've got my flight schedule for next next week to head to Dallas for three shows with Lyle Lovett at the Majestic Theater. I think Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. And um, and then I'm home for, I think, two days. And then I head to Orlando for the Florida Film Festival to hook up with Denny Tedesco. And then I head straight from Orlando to Austin for a show with Lyle and then home. You know, all kinds of crap going on. <clears throat> Today is Danny Korchmar's birthday. Not the other day, like Facebook said, and I coach wrote to me and he goes, yeah, I've been trying to get them to fix that and it just, nobody's fixed it. It shows up every time as the fourth, but today is actually Danny's birthday. So I'm gonna say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cooch. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Cooch, man. Happy birthday. Wish you all the very best. Um, it's early. It's uh, just 8 o'clock right now. Um, I'm taking care of a few things. I'm going to be heading off. I've got my appointment at the DMV to get my driver's license renewed, and I have to go in and do an eye test and a written exam and all that stuff. I think they once you reach a certain age, they don't trust you beyond like giving you your license for more than a day at a time or something. I don't know. I was sort of hoping I'd be able to just fill up online and get sent a new, you know, a new license. But no, i got to go down there and do the dog and pony act at the DMV. But at least I was able to make an appointment so I won't be sitting there all day. And then I'm going to come home and um, finish up one of the projects that I've started in the yard. i got a bunch more work to do on that. And uh, it breaks my heart that uh, my rototiller broke a long time ago. And I never re really replaced it. I found no use for it. But boy, I could have used it on this project because I'm cutting through some soil that could really use some turning. But uh, I'll just be out there with the shovel doing my job. Which leads me to music, of course. Everything leads me back to music. Uh, today I'm going to go and visit another album that I did with this wonderful, wonderful artist who's a dear, dear friend. We've been friends for a long time now. I'm proud that she did a uh, promo for my book, that she's in my book, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, she's just, she's really just. There's nobody else like Lisa Loeb. Um, she's such a delight. She, and she's her Rory, her husband is fantastic, and her kids are great. And uh, Every once in a while, we get together out here and, and get to run around with the dogs in the backyard. And it's just, it's just a hoot. Um, but I did an album with her back in 1997 called Firecracker. I got to do a few tracks on this thing. Um, the musicians basically on the album, uh, on all the tracks, are Lisa on acoustic guitar, uh, David Gresham, um, whenever it's needed, on clarinet, and Lisa singing. Now, when it comes to these uh, other songs, uh, I'm going to do two songs that I that I played on on this album. One is called I Do, and it's me on bass, J.R. Robinson on drums, who they're doing a book about, and I just did an interview for that and was uh, kind and glowing about J.R. I lied like crazy. Um, Tony Berg on guitar and Juan Patino on um background vocals. Then the other song I'm going to do is Let's Forget About It, which is the same lineup on it, except one is also playing uh, piano on this one. And it's got, uh, when there are strings involved, it's on cello, it's, uh, I'm not sure I pronounce it, Eric Gainslin, uh, Nina Lee, and uh, Pitneri Shin, and Matthew Heron, uh, Eric uh, let's see, um, Trent H uh, Hellerstein on uh, upright bass, Conway Kuo, Leo Suzuki, and Martin Shear on viola, and Ann Kim, Annie Shalex, Colin uh, Jacobson, Helen Kim, Janet Sung, Jennifer 
Frouchy, uh, Naomi Katz, uh, Nutri Bar Joseph, uh, Pauline Kim, Sang Mi Lee, and Tom Chu, and Yosuko Kawas Kawasaki, and uh, on violin. Uh, it was per the album was produced by Lisa and Juan Patino. Uh, the arrangements were done, uh, uh, the string arrangements were done by both Juan and Dan Coleman, uh, conducted by Ben Loeb, engineered by Juan Patino, uh, Ryan Friedland, uh, so we got Dave, oh, the wonderful Dave Bianco. God, I miss Dave. I did so many projects with him, and we were right in the middle of doing a, a, one of Judith Owen's albums when he tragically passed away. Uh, it was, let's see, it was produced by Ted Jen, uh, 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 mastered by Ted Jensen, and mixed by the great Bob Clearmountain. Um, let's see if it's got, I don't see where we did this. I don't see a line on that. But um, so the album, again, is Firecracker, Lisa Loeb from 1997. So let me play a couple of these tracks. She's just got her thing. There's nobody else like Lisa. I just totally dig her, um, yeah, both as a person and as an artist. And she does so many different things. She's got her fingers in lots of things, a lot of projects for children and stuff. I mean, she's really good at that, too. So here we go. This one is called Let's Forget About It and Lisa Loeb. <laughs> I told you I was sorry. I told you I was, I was wrong. I said it was an accident. Now don't tell me why. But you love to circle round and round. You're so misunderstood. Yeah, you love to circle round and round. And you know that we should get back. What blows my mind is I'm watching the video for this as it's playing. This is 1997, and she has an age today. I don't know. She's got some kind of elixir magic that, that's really something else. But every time I see her, I just go, you never age. It's just a remarkable uh, little, little specimen. Amazing. Um, but just, you know, watching all of her videos and stuff, I mean, she, she's one of the, she's like a conceptual artist, you know, because she's got the music, but then visually she's got her, this whole package that's great, and then they always play to that. 
in the videos, and it's really, really something. I really so appreciate what, what um, she's capable of doing. Here's one called I Do. Here we go, Lisa Loeb. J.R. system. Yeah, Lisa Loeb. Nobody did more for making glasses hip than Lisa, too. I mean, she, she wears them really good. It always just really stylish. Yeah, really something else. So uh, fun, to, fun to visit Lisa today here. Um, I'm going to go get the boys up and get their breakfast going, and then I'm going to prep myself and head over. Uh, to the uh, DMV and get in line and hope for the best. So happy birthday, Cooch, and I wish everybody a wonderful day, and I will uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I've been having fun. Did a couple of cameos again yesterday. It was, those are so much fun just to, just to wish people happy birthday and happy anniversary. It's really fun. I enjoy it so much. So 